How is it going guys? JC back at it here again and today we continue with Better Call Saul. We're on episode 3 of season 2 now. It's titled Amarello. Episode 2 was <coughs> entertaining as heck. We learned what a squad cobbler is. I think that's what Jimmy called it. That has to be the funniest scene of the season yet. And yeah, Mike managed to uh, find you know that one guy who likes the color yellow he, he managed to find that guy's uh or more like retrieve his baseball cards you know um so i guess that's the end of mike's relationship with <laughs> that weirdo and um you know it sort of ended with jim fabricating evidence to you know save that guy jim chose to represent that weirdo <laughs> in front in front of the police so uh yeah he fabricated evidence in, in order to help that guy escape uh, and uh I, i'm guessing he went down that route because he was still emotionally unstable after meeting his brother Chuck at uh, one of one of the meetings in HHM. So that kind of just <coughs> rubbed him off the wrong way. And then immediately after that, Mike called him with an opportunity, you know, so he took it. Hopefully, he does not do this again. But, you know, it's Jimmy, though, and it seems like he's still gonna meet Chuck somewhere down the line. So, uh, I, 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 I actually see him doing this again. And uh, I just hope things go well for him, man. I really do. So, uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time and check out what this episode has in store for us. Well, we were looking to help any Sandpiper residents who may have been overcharged for uh, goods <laughs> and services. Now, does that ring a bell? Maybe. Was it yellow? It's canary yellow. I'm here to make sure you get your money back. W what are you talking about? Who took Alma May's money? Uh, well, <coughs> that, that's a very this is all. This is how he catches everyone. Now, nobody took anybody's money uh, exactly. See, what we're talking about here is more of a, it's just a discrepancy. But we need to fix it. You follow me? Yo, I can't get over that this thing hanging on his coat from his collar. What the heck is this? <laughs> and nothing makes me sadder than to see people of the greatest generation getting overcharged. This guy is a natural man. It's not even funny. It's just easier if you get your nephew Steve to go take care of it for you. Mm. And that's how I want you to think of me. Georgiana? Oh hey no, this guy he has Thank them you. sold. Oh, so I read over a dozen of her. Oh my God. Yeah, they are at the meeting again and Chuck is here. How about we move on to client outreach? Uh, right now, we're in the process of mapping out the entire Southwest, targeting the largest sandpiper facilities first. With this many folks, we have an excellent shot at a solid batch of plaintiffs for the classes in each district. Excellent. Uh, sorry, before we move on, I'd like to- go Oh back my to God. Just for a moment. Really a astonishing results. Oh, I hate this guy, bro. Your last trip to Amarillo, you came back with 22 new clients. 24. 24. I'm confused. Um, how many people out there actually responded to our direct mailer? One. But you got 24 new clients from this one response? Oh, I see what he's doing here. Well, this bitch. I mean, what, is there a problem? Well, uh, might not some parties see this differential and conclude that there may have been some solicitation involved. I did not solicit. I'm just wondering how you account for your success. Jimmy, if you could clear this up. Chuck is, open. Chuck is a I bitch, man. To, as many of you are aware, I've visited more than my share of retirement homes. These are close-knit communities. Let me tell you, word gets around real fast. So these other 23 residents, they approached you. Cliff, they heard the scuttlebutt before I crossed state lines. Ah, oh, he's lying now, and though. I, I don't know. Chuck is going to find out. Oh, Chuck already knows. Makes sense. Howard? We good to move on? God, God, this is going to be a huge problem, man. I just want to say that I, I take Chuck's point. I do I think there can't even be a hint of solicitation. So I'm going to pull back. All right, no more meet and greets at the uh, oh! facilities. Find another way to proceed. Well, Jimmy, we'll leave that up to you. <laughs> find out. Man, do you believe Chuck in there? Uh, what happened in Texas? Yeah, Kim doesn't buy it. I did my job. Jimmy, you know solicitation can get you to Yeah, he's... Matters. Yeah. You said in there you'd find another way. Did you mean it? Sure. Absolutely. He did not mean that shit. He just said that to piss Chuck off. I put myself on the line to get you this job. Oh. Okay. You know I believe in you. But then I made my beliefs known to them. And now everything you do reflects back on me with Howard. Because ultimately I talked him into going out on a limb for you too. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Do you understand? It's yeah. 
It's my word. It's my judgment. You can't screw this up, Jimmy. Please. At least for Kim's sake. Kim is Kim is a good friend right here, man. Honestly. Grandpa Mike. That should get you through to next month. Mike, thank you. But you shouldn't feel that you need to. Too late. Something up? Yeah, there's something up, definitely. <laughs> Feels like something's up. No, it's... Last two nights, I heard gunshots. First night, they were maybe a block or two over. It woke me up. I first thought it was firecrackers. I mean, that's what I assumed at the time. But then last night, there's no mistaking it. There was three of them. They were quick. Pop, 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 closer. It was like they were right outside the house. I'm staying here tonight. No, mm. Mike, no. That's not no, necessary. I, it is not a problem. I'll take the couch. Mike, you asked so... I answered. Please don't make me sorry. I told you. Mike is going to. He's going to stake out this place <laughs> in his car. <laughs> really? He's going to stake this neighborhood out. There's no way he's going home and sleeping peacefully at night. There's no way. You can see it in his face. What about Colorado Springs? 283 residents, and we sent out 283 mailers. Yeah, and how many response cards came back? Zero. Oh my. Zero. What's up? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Sandpiper mailers. Yeah, we should be getting responses of like 12 to 15%, but we're getting ones and twos. In Colorado Springs, zero. Wow, how can that be? I'm thinking it's the staff. They're tossing the mailers before they can reach the residents. Guess you better think of another way. I think I got it. TV commercial. Highly targeted. They oh, say, Let me tell you, so they will run ads. On, it draws the blue hairs like moths to a bug zapper. We ran a commercial a few years back, another class action case. Kind of a new thing for us. And it's not exactly my go-to, but generally speaking, I'm open to it. We will talk next week. Great. Okay, so this is the new way. It, things seem things seem to be working out. Jimmy seems to have taken Kim's advice, but I don't know why. I just feel this tension. If you or a family member have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or related conditions, what is this? This cannot be the ad, right? Long-term inhalation of asbestos fibers can cause serious or fatal. Nah, this they they can't do that. Nah. Remember, they worked real hard to get that just right. <laughs> this is you nonsense. Right. Uh, the the swirl. <laughs> the oh my God, David Sabine, then, nah. then there was the issue of the speed. Yeah, yeah, this is not how you do it. That is horrendous. Cliff signed off on this. The partners were very happy. What do you think? I think whatever happened to showmanship. Oh, okay. No, these are the videographers. Oh, from se from season one, I remember them now. Together, we can make something. Dare I say it, bravura. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. McGill. I told you guys, Mike was going to stake this place out. I exactly what I said. He's in his car. This seems like a quiet night, though. What was that? Another one. Oh, so it's just newspapers. It was just newspapers, right? Okay, okay. So everything is good, man. What? Hey, honey, what's happening? What happened? Wait, something happened. Let me show you. It's up there. You see it? It's right up there. Oh, I mean, it could have been you anything, see though. It, right? Uh, I see it. What time did you hear the shots? 2.13 this morning. I looked at the clock. It was three of them. It was exactly like last time. The that can't have been a shot. You think maybe it's possible that you dreamed yeah, it? Yeah, she dreamed it, it yes. Sometimes. I didn't dream it, Mike. Because I didn't sleep a wink last night. That came from a bullet. I mean, it must have. It wasn't there before last night. I promise you that. And I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jesus. she's, uh, there's something going on with I mean, her, man. I was here. I was here and you weren't. I so. believe you. All right, that's it. We're getting you and Kaylee out of this house. End of story. Do you ever wonder about these things? Like, what's the I story? wonder about those. Who was it who first said, hey, I know. Big ball, ball of balls. balls. I've, trust me, I've had that same thoughts. Oh, I think he's about to play the ad for her. For the ad he recorded. Oh, it's already better. It's already better than Davis and Main's ad. Jimmy is too good. Oh, she was actually crying. For a free consultation, call the law offices of Davis and Main at 505-242-7700. This looks good, man. It looks... It looks good, man. I can't believe Davis and Main went for it. 
Wait, what, what's Jackson? up with what's up with Jimmy now? Absolutely. He seems frustrated. I don't know what's what's wrong with him. Yeah, he's playing his guitar, so he's nice. Okay. What is he doing? Why is he going back? Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah, I'd like the number for KKTV Channel 11. Uh, yes, can you connect me to your ad sales? So he's button? doing it without clips, um, you know, Guns sign off. I don't know what Jimmy is thinking, man. He looks so worried. So everybody knows. Stay now. Every line starting with 7700 has been rerouted to the bullpen. And it's almost Should time. It, it would be so embarrassing if he doesn't get any calls. So now me, I'm, I'm oh, tense. <laughs> like I'm fidgeting right now, man. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, the calls are coming in now. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Oh, everyone is everyone is busy, man. All the lines are about to get, be taken. This is incredible, man. So his plan worked. I would have been surprised if it didn't work. I was so scared for him that no one would call. But I guess that was an unfounded fear. Cause the ad was the, the video was so good. Yeah. Something came in this evening, and it's definitely next level <gasps> pay. What's the job? The guy wouldn't tell me. And the guy, he specifically asked for you. He specifically asked for Mike. Who's the guy? It's the boss. At this hour? Yeah. Uh, I hope he doesn't have any issues. Congratulations. You ran a commercial? Yeah. And oh my God, let me tell you, the response has you been. You ran a commercial without ever showing it to me, without first consulting me and my partners. Did you actually think that was going to fly? I was planning on telling you. The day after it aired? I only ran it once. It was kind of Yeah, fuck. Kind of under the radar. This commercial, I take it my firm's name is mentioned? Yes. Jesus. Howard said you were a little eccentric. You didn't tell me you were a goddamn arsonist. Wait, what was wrong? I apologize if there was any misreading of the situation on my part. Can't Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, my office. With the partners, and we want to see this thing. Cliff, when you see this, I know you. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah, Cliff. Thank you. Golden boy. Ugh. That's me. She's in for a surprise. <laughs> the sadness on his face. Blow up yet. I cannot wait for 8 a.m. Okay, yeah, now let's see this guy who specifically asked for Mike. This is a weird location to meet at. And at this time, that this is just so weird, man. Okay. It, this seems like Nacho. You gonna tell me what we're doing here? It seems like Nacho from the shoes. I knew it was Nacho. No I knew okay. it was Nacho. What's the problem? I can't solve it myself. This problem, is it a who or a what? There's a guy, I need him to go away. Okay, okay. So we'll have to wait till the next episode to see what Cliff does to uh, Jimmy. I don't know what was wrong with anything Jimmy did. I mean, obviously he, he should have run the fact that he was about to, you know, run the ad by Cliff. But at the same time, it's like they got results, right? I guess that's, that's how I see it anyway. I don't know how things work in law firms and whatnot, but I don't see anything that's particularly wrong with what Jimmy did. So I, I guess we'll have to wait until the next episode to get an idea of just how much of an arsonist Jimmy is, you know, according to Cliff anyway. Uh, so now Nacho and Mike, they have a thing going. And uh, Mike's daughter-in-law, I don't know what's up with her, but it seems like she uh, she's having some mental issues or something. But clearly there's something wrong with her. You know, I, I wonder how Kim is going to react she, when she finds out what Jimmy did, man. I just hope everything is okay. But from the looks of it, everything is definitely not okay. And things are going to take a turn for the worse for Jim, for Jimmy. I don't know about, I don't know how things are going to go for Mike anyway. But um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace.